It was down in the Panhandle Valley that I was King Bull of them all, that my eye fell on Sweet Angelina. And I sounded my bold mating call. She said, yes. On our honeymoon, she and I sauntered through the glamorous Grand Hotel door. And believe it or not, at that instant, the Nazis and Jaffs declared war. From here, from there, from everywhere, the beat of drums, the bugles blare, the guns and men were passing through. Look! Holy smoke! There goes Snafu! I saw my duty. I waved her goodbye. If Snafu could make it, by gosh, so could I. I made it. And boy, was I processed. Wherever he fought, on whatever far shore, I'd follow Snafu and I'd feed him, I swore. Damn the torpedoes, I cried to the crew. Full speed ahead, with a food for Snafu. Snafu must eat. He cannot win unless he has his mighty men. Through ice and snow and sleep they crunch. They must get through with Snafu's lunch. I can't make it. I'm pooped. I'm all through. Food for Snafu! Mud and jungle heat. One only thought. Let Snafu eat! Snafu must eat. He shall not fast. In spite of bomb and shrapnel blast, the precious food arrives at last. Come and get it! More, more, come on, give me a little more, Anna boy. You're a good guy. Come on, give me a little more. That's it. Come on, Logan. That's more like it. <laughs> joined up the first day of war, but now I'm regretting my haste. I joined up as food for Snafu, but all I became was just waste.